Okay? Brian? Paul? Can we do something for you? I love you. You got a roach? Ho, ho, ho. What am I looking at? The hell? I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Hold on. Yellow. So you are now officially live on your YouTube on through that service that you're seeing. Uh, if you look down at your name, you'll see your name, Captain Kirk, Coxie, so on and so forth. If you hover your mouse over there. Wait a minute. Time out. Time out. I'm live right now. Why? You said you wanted to be live, right? Yeah, but I ain't ready. Oh, my bad. You, you said send it. That's why I did that. You oh, I thought you meant live on the other side. Like on the app, like not actually live yet. Oh, well, Fuck it, right? We we'll just keep it live. Fuck it, who cares? All right, my bad. I mis I misunderstood. Yeah. All right. Ooh, all right. Uh. Okay. I'll call you back. All right. All right. Uh, I don't know how to. Hang on, man. Let me figure this shit out. Well, goddamn. Can you hear me? Yeah. Dude, them people were pissed, bro. They really were. Am I upside down? Yeah, you're sideways. Oh, hey, Trevor, I'll see you in the chat. All right, buddy. Bro, answer me this. Why are all these people getting defensive over the same exact person? And it's not the Kylie girl, dude. I don't know. Explain that. I think that that just proves, bro. They're they're something's off, bro. Them the same people. Them's the same people. That's why they they wouldn't half of them wouldn't even show their face. They can't show their face. No. And they kept being like, "Oh, well, dude, uh, what you're doing is slander." I said, "Motherfucker, sue me." Well, sue I don't me. understand, bro. Like I was proving to them that there was no photos that the original. So that plate that was on her car, the border thing that goes around it. That is seven years old, bro. Like I know. seven years. So this car has been in their family for seven years and they give it to their daughter and they still got like, I don't know, dude, that's just so weird. <laughs> Not just because of that, but because of the fact, then you don't have any photos. Like something's off, bro. Oh, dude, and dude, so and do you hear how they're talking? They're, the, the, the people on there were, were saying, I don't know why I can't go up. You dead. We can hear you, Bubba. My uh, bad, bro. Yo, I was just up there with you, like insanity over there, dude. I, it, I dude, is it not crazy over there? 
Yeah. It, it's more like they won't they won't even listen to nothing. Like no pictures of a fucking party, and they they just I, I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. What they're not seeing. Nothing. They don't want to see it. So was there four hundred people there at a party, or was there no party? That's the question. Like people should be asking. Who the fuck cares if you hurt somebody's feelings? Like who cares? Get over it. Exactly. Move on. Move on. And why they all, and why they always go into the same exact shit? They're like, they're like, well, I know for a fact it ain't Ikamal. I know for a fact it ain't. How do you know, dude? Right. Yeah. Crazy. Right. Well, that's they what I don't get, know. man. Is how close minded can you be to say it ain't somebody? Like the only two options are. She was murdered by somebody she knows, like textbook murder, or she it was an accident. Like that's the only two theories that you're allowed to have. That's what pisses me off, dude. Is that that's not reality. That is that just proves everything that people are right, that we live in a fake, like a false reality. Like people are walking around thinking that everything's just peaches and cream, and it's really not. <laughs> no. Somebody said Molly Go Lightly. What man? I don't give a fuck about what Molly Go Lightly's doing. She's a fucking <laughs> idiot. Facts. She's probably talking about food and who knows what else. Last time I was in there, dude, this is what pisses me oh, off. Yeah. Two hours I was in there watching Molly, yeah. and she talked about McDonald's and some taco place that she went to. I knew more about McDonald's and tacos than I did about <laughs> Kylie Skates, and that's crazy. You know, with why, the title bro? Kylie Rodney. Well, I don't know Uncharged. how to turn my camera on. Does anybody know how to work like so I can show my fucking face? I, I, I'm black screen. I can't I even spin my screen. So, are you on a phone? <laughs> are you on I your phone or on your here. computer? What's that? Are you on your phone or computer? Phone, phone, phone. phone. Uh, there should be a like start camera button. Yeah, it's down yeah, the there's bottom. There's a camera I, button I, on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Nate, since, you <clears throat> since you're tech support and you know I could turn this without making me go like that. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, Rye. I, I agree with you, man. Yo, they need to put their money where the mouth is. Where is any evidence of this fucking party? These people, anything, anything, anything. They Dude. give you some grainy picture of her walking out of a store, and they say this was her last sighting. Bullshit. Did you see the picture that one? Do you see the picture that one lady shared? I was like, dude. This looks like a picture that's eight feet underwater. <laughs> How am I supposed to tell you what what that is? That could be a fucking moose for all I know. Yo, right. some dude, some dude just found her laptop or found a laptop in the water right where her car was, apparently. Dude, and, and you know what? out the investigator. That shit is suspect as fuck. You know why? <laughs> because they shared it. Why are they? Why are they sharing all this evidence that nobody's seen? Because they're making Who it found, out as they go. If you listen to the how laptop? they're talking. They're like, well, Ryan, wh what would you do if this evidence come out? It's like, uh, are you creating the goddamn evidence? What are you doing? Like, why are you asking me like that? <laughs> <laughs> they, just, they just want, they just want you. They want to prove you to be something that you're not, dude. You're passionate yeah. about what it is. You can have any theory you want. If it hurts their feelings, so fucking be it. Who cares? Oh. Like, who cares? Move on. They don't like yeah. it. Move on. Yeah, ladies over there, I've debunked all your shit. Motherfucker, you debunked a shit ton of zebra cakes. That's the only thing you debunked. <laughs> all right? With your damn fedora and your black lipstick, which is fine, but when you're a bitch, it don't look good. What's up, Kenny Reacts? You could be the hottest chick in the world. If you're if you're a fucking asshole, you're ugly. Facts. That's right. Mm -hmm. Facts. You could be... You could be what what society says a six, if you're cool as hell and nice, you a ten. <laughs> hey, you gotta That's be able to though. cook though. You gotta be able to cook too. Facts. <clears throat> Dude, what is what's up, Bubba? What is wrong with these people, dog? Mm. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. get it. <laughs> yeah. I really don't. And and they're and why do they keep saying I keep changing the story. The story is the same. Go look. Right. I said on the thing, I said, bro, I said, look, I was like, this part of this video is going to be cut out. We go to the video. It's cut out from right. YouTube studios. I have the video. I don't care. I'm going to go through my files and find it tonight. I just don't understand what is the point. And they're, they're like, why? Well, it can't be orchestrated. It can't be all these people. It's four people. Why, not? Why are you making it sound like it's fucking 1,800 people? It's four people. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's, they're scared, bro. Yeah. There's just but, a hey, bunch of fucking suspicious people. There's so many kids that go missing and get trafficked every how many people do they think are running that? Do they think that's a myth? Like I don't I, I, that's my problem with society nowadays, dude. It's like we have a huge human trafficking, sex trafficking problem, but our people are going, No, can't happen. Had to have been an accident. Couldn't have been yeah. that. Couldn't happen. The one dude's like, he's like, I don't get how you don't think it's an accident. Dude, she was found in the back seat. Mm -hmm. You cannot drive a car from the back seat. Anybody with a fucking half a brain can tell you that. Yeah, and they say, the water came in so fast, it just flushed her into the back. Yeah, Like, okay, as she was taking her seatbelt off, the tidal wave came in and drug her to the back of the car. Uh, I'm not buying it. Well, buying there's it. also there's also a theory out there that when the car flipped over, that she floated to the back th- on the roof. But even Jared from uh, Adventures with Purpose said that that is such a small space. Yeah. That there's, I mean, her yep. squeezing by the seat, the top of the seats, and the top of the car to the back is very slim. Yeah. Well, they're also they're also assuming that the car went directly in the water really quickly and filled with water like that. Yeah. That didn't happen. The mm-hmm. car yeah. went in the water Put, and then yeah. it slowly started to fill with water and then roll yeah. as it was under yeah. water. So yeah, there was a guy on a plenty of time. There was two Sorry. window, one window all the way down, one window broken out. When did that happen? Did that happen there, when well, it rolled under water? On so possibly night. three yeah. windows down. And the guy she on the went panel. to the back hatch. Back hatch. Yeah, it's bullshit. The dude on the one panel the other night said the car was going so fast when it hit the water, it flipped upside down, spun sideways, and he's and so he's like, why didn't the airbags go off if it fucking was going right. yeah. an hour? Right. Like, well, there's not a, a car doesn't have enough buoyancy to spin sideways on top of water. Yeah, it, it's ridiculous. It would dig in and it would it would grip and then it would sink. Right, but he's allowed to have that theory, and people are like, oh, he's right. But if you question anything about this girl that nobody can find any valid proof of, you're a fucking lunatic. You're you're a tweaking that lunatic. You mean to tell me that, and look, this is what these people do. They think they're using like some kind of reverse psychology to where they're they're pissing you off. Are they they pissing you off? Yes. But the thing is, is it only makes them look worse. Right. Because Mm -hmm. if, 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 if I was getting pissed off and I was blatantly wrong, then I would look bad. But I'm getting pissed off because I am presenting them logical explanations and they will not accept the logical explanation. They want this fairy tale where the damn car like flew like Hogwarts and landed somewhere. Hey, and check this out. I peeped this. How long were you in that panel for before I got in there? What, three hours? Bro, three hours and nobody even, nobody proved anything the entire time. Not only that, dude, they were real. Look at this just shows what they're really using their panel for. How many times did you tell that lady to shut up or be stupid? You're being stupid. Not shut up, bro. I called them fat cows and everything. Okay. I said, man, quit being stupid. And she said, I I was gone. And what's up to my chunky chicks out there? She was only streaming that so Ryan Upchurch would come in her thing and she could get some traffic, dude. These people yeah, are yeah. so Yo, dude, bro, dude. Bro, the second you said something, she was like, out. <laughs> yeah. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, so so because Ryan's saying it, he can stay and he can have his theory and you guys can call him crazy. Like, they're pushing their narrative even harder. Like I said from the beginning, these people are just out to try to say your theory is wrong because they know it's right. Like, it's, it's crazy, dude. Facts, dude. And the thing is, is they want to paint this picture that, oh, Ryan Upchurch thinks he's all Hollywood to set in the other. Bro, all my friends regular as hell. The only person that's even acting like that are these motherfuckers that don't know me. Mm-hmm. Right. That's the only people. That shows you where their mindset is. And none of them have proof to prove anything that they're saying either. That's the thing. No. They, want to, they want to throw out all the theories. They don't have any proof. But they don't have any proof of that. So it's what, like how can they talk shit about us putting yeah. stuff out there, like theories and stuff? Whenever they can't even have any proof of their theories. Imagine if we never pointed out Xanime being weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the thing, right? Like, Ugh. as soon as you called out Ronnie, what the fuck's up with this weirdo? It's like, go to people's defense. No, he's real and he's fake. He's like, bro, 
the, the asshole either was there or knows two people that were there. Why did he just like mosey on off? Like not, he wasn't, nothing to do with nothing. Well, He's cool. Well, check this out. This solidifies my theory even more about Miro. Miro, if Miro did not exist, we would still be looking for this car in the water somewhere. Yeah. Because uh, AWP yeah, yeah. wouldn't have got the traction that they got because Ryan would have still been in a different lane. Yeah. Because Miro called and Miro tipped all that information off. That's when Ronnie got exposed. That's when right. all these people started getting pulled and picked mm-hmm. apart. So that's why I think I truly believe that Miro knows exactly what happened. Yep. And either right. Miro's yep. that kid that ain't allowed to be involved and he's just Anybody. trying to get people caught, or Miro's involved and he told them. Yep. Anybody with fucking eyeballs can see that this is mm-hmm. edited teeth. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So yeah. so what they're saying is their defense is there's some fucking app. It makes you look good from far away if you have braces, but if you zoom in, it's fucked up. Well, how no. come in fucking her lips up? No, they're saying, no, 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 that's not what they're saying. AWP uses like 4K camera. They use, I think, higher. I think you could go way higher than 4K, like 40K. 40 40K, I heard now, yeah. And they use that high density camera. And what it did, what they're claiming it did, is it tried to rejuvenate the picture because it was blurry and it was not shot in a high, high resolution. And when it did that, it caused different overlays of teeth patterns on there because it couldn't find a mouth one, which Dude. I, I don't right. I know that there's programs that do that, but I but don't it didn't see find her not. It found her nostrils fine. And I, that's what I'm saying. I don't right. see it only affecting her teeth, right? Like everything mm-hmm. else doesn't look touched. Even the lady in the background doesn't look touched. Right. So if it just enhanced her teeth and had a problem with her teeth, that's kind of weird. Right. Yeah. Right. And it's, and here's another thing. Why? Why is it so hard? Like, they won't even take into consideration something. We have found, uh, 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 father and son, Captain Kirk, me, uh, Power Stroke, wherever he's at. Is he in here? Mm -mm. Okay. So we we have been sitting here, and remember when we found out the people were matching up, but they were like seven years apart in age because they were using old pictures? Yep. As soon as we found that out, that the uh, Instagram account that we've all been being told this whole time is the Kylie girls. Where where's the photos? Where where did where did anything go? They why ripped did, right why did down, Jagger right? make another? This Jagger dude apparently made another page. Mm-hmm. And then and look look the closer we get the fuck the more these people try to get a hold of us. Bro, the Jagger dude has been trying to get a hold of me like a fucking wild hyena for three days. I ain't talking to him. Right. Mm-hmm. I ain't letting him hack my fucking phone. Kurt, no. you seen what happened to the phones uh, at my house? Yeah, I That's did. That. Yo, yeah. and, and there's been people that have been real, like, doing pretty well. There's some good panels, man. They're, they're not all bad. But the minute they start tweaking something, next thing you know, their fucking lives go down. Something's wrong with their computer. Like, all this weird shit goes on with them. And I, hey, I I've only seen that. one true crime channel actually putting effort for and, yeah. and trying to avoid Ryan's name as much as she can and focus on one thing. Not saying that's a bad thing, but that's Zav Girl. Yep. Zav Girl yep. hustles for Kylie, dog. Zav Girl yep. looks every avenue. She's looking yep. in the bushes and the trees and the trash cans. She's looking for the squirrel yep. that's trying to hold up a flag. Like, that no shit doubt. keeps... She looks outside the box, man, and that's what we need. Yes. And she, she, I don't know, man. She is, she's probably as real as it gets on that true crime. Man. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Hey guys, I got, I got to run. I got to get to work, but I will. Right, li- I'll listen to y'all while y'all, you know, when I get, when I get there. <laughs> Ten four, y'all have, y'all have a good night at work, man. Oh, uh, you too, bro. Well, have a good night. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a good morning at work. Yeah. So this is the Kylie girls with a C. This is her dad. Why in the hell does her dad look exactly like Kylie with the K's grandfather? But Ryan, the minute you say that, you're a fucking lunatic. Nobody can, nobody can, you know, you're not allowed to say that for some reason because you have 3,000 subscribers or 3 million subscribers. You're not allowed to say that. But the guy with 200 subs is allowed to do whatever he wants. I don't get it. Whenever Responsibility. Like, girls in here. Yo, I hate to say this to you, man, and this sounds like an asshole thing to say, but I don't care. When you're in it, when you're involved with somebody that was killed, they're going to ask you to overturn a lot of information. Yes, to the yeah. authorities, 
But I feel like if something happened to my child or my grandchild or whatever it may be, I would be putting, I would say, look, that's my granddaughter. Here's the picture when we went to elementary school together. Here's yeah. the picture of middle school together. Like, yep. she's she's gone. So it, it ain't tarnishing nobody's thing. People say, oh, it's tarnishing her name. No, it's no, not. It ain't. It's clearing her family. And I'm not saying that that's what we need, but I, I just don't understand why that's not something that's already happened. Dude. Bro, when this uh, fucking, my wife turned me on to this case, right? I started watching. Zav girl, said, hang on a second. Why? Sorry. Zav girl, can, uh, you can come in if you want to. Oh, that's what's Go up. ahead, buddy. I just, yeah, um, I just want to say, like, my wife turned me on. I said, why don't this girl look the same in any pictures? Some pictures she looks male nourished and, like, all drugged up. Other pictures she looks lovely. She don't, not, she don't look the same to me in anything. 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 She don't. Different. Don't yeah. even, Everything's even different. Even the teeth are different. Yeah. Right. Yep. And that's yep. the thing, bro. If you, if you, and these people are like, man, you're so crazy. Let's step back to the base of the entire thing. And let's look what, what what has happened now. Why is everyone like, oh my gosh, we, we, uh, we, the whole world needs to find Kylie. Japanese people need to find Kylie. Europe <laughs> needs to find Kylie. Why when AWP pulls up and finds her, everyone gets pissed? Yep. Answer that one question. Anybody in the chat, answer that one question. The boyfriend literally called AWP a clout chaser, dude. Yep. AWP's grown ass men. They don't give a shit about the word cl clout chaser. They no, don't even know that is. Situation. Yo, even listen, everything's been different about her pictures. And there's another thing that points out that even the police approves is different. Every jacket, her whole wardrobe, everything's changed in this whole case. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's not just a theory, it's also seeing a pattern of lies. Their kids, yeah. she couldn't have worn three jackets at one time. I mean, how do you not know what this chick was wearing with 300 people around her? Because Why I don't think Anna she made it to no party. I don't think she even made it there. I really don't Me think neither. she even made it there. I don't think she made it in way before that party took place. And it's a shame. It's a shame. And you know, people say, that's the thing. I, I want to know what's going on with people's fucking brains. If I'm telling you exactly what I'm seeing in front of my face... Why is that a conspiracy, dude? Yeah. They say, oh, the party, the party. What goddamn party? Exactly. Show, Show me, me a fucking party. picture. Right. Oh, Sammy Mags is her best friend. Well, she ain't got no pictures with him. Mags left because bong rips. They were jamming bongs in her face without her boyfriend. <laughs> she was out. She rolled. She had to go. She was gone. God Yo, forbid. Hey, I debunked that one too. This chick said gone. they were doing yeah, they drugs a at a party, <laughs> and we don't have those drugs normally at our party. So if she what? wasn't taking bong rips, what type of drugs do they normally have at their party? It was the acid, look like cocaine, like four years old. Them girls oh, look boy. like they're in their twenties, dude. Them Thank girls you. look like they're in their twenties. Sammy. Yeah. Mags, they all look like they're in college to me. Yep. They look like they're in college. They look old. Well, not they to mention the freaking the, the whole time the the whole time the what's her face uh, Sammy girls talking about it. What teenager do you know refers to teenagers as teenagers? Yeah, right. You're right. Right. You're right. Right. Oh, That's and then the other thing does. Sammy said that was super suspect was the first thing she wants to do when she finds Kylie is do get a bunch of liquor. What the fuck? What the is fuck kind of comment is that? Yeah, yeah, she's 16, oh. right? <laughs> All right, here's another thing. Okay, why when she was... Okay, so to clear up to everybody, everybody's like, oh, well, you think she's fake? Okay, I think that AWP found a body in the car. Obviously, so there was a real body in the car. Here's where I have an issue. Why isn't the name... Attaching to anything, nothing, nothing. That's my issue. I, I'm not. I, I'm not saying anything. I'm asking why doesn't the name match to anything? Yep, exactly. And that's all you're asking. Prove she existed at this fucking party. Anything, anything. Well, you know what's crazy is they said that she was in band. They said that she played a lot of instruments in band. One thing I know is when they have like a home a homecoming football game, they'll put the band members in the paper. So at some point, a Google article should have pinged in Truckee, California, of this girl being in a band and nothing. Nothing. People are saying Ronnie's live. 
Yeah, he's over on that Queen. Dude, Beach I heard town. people were saying Ronnie killed himself last night. Like, what are you? I, who knows? I heard that. Yeah. Ronnie is a magician. They're taking that misinformation and doing this. Player. I can't find. I can't find anything on Ronnie or Miro anymore. Like whatsoever, I can't find shit. Mm -hmm. Like what we were finding before, I can't find it anymore. No, nah, Miro is a ghost now. Up, I'm telling you, bro. Miro, Miro is the mole. Miro is the mole. That's his new name, mm -hmm. the mole. <laughs> and here's another thing. Here's another thing that anyone can easily be like, oh man, Bob Church, you're so crazy. Here you go. Here's the evidence. Show me one picture of Kylie standing with this fucking CRV. Yeah, go find yeah, it. Fact. There ain't Or one. with her friends. Where's when has she ever yeah. been shown with Mags, the fucking afraid of bongs, and and Sammy, the liquor toting fucking weirdo? Like she's not shown with none of them, but they're her best friends in the whole world. Best friends. Yeah. Best friends. Totally loved her so much. And that awkward yeah. shit she did at that fucking gathering when she was like, we love her, yay, or something. You showed her, mm -hmm. right? Weird as shit. Weird as yeah. shit. <laughs> hey, wasn't that necklace they had like sterling silver or something? Mm -hmm. Because was. they were making a big deal to get that necklace back. And yeah. dude, sterling silver at a pawn shop is like 90 bucks a pound. That necklace probably weighed... 16 ounce, you know, it probably weighed a pound, but that's 90 bucks. Why were they so concerned about that damn necklace, dude? Yeah. yeah. Uh, to answer, uh, to answer what's his name question, look, I'm only, I'm only taking in stuff that I know is a fact. The people that's panel we was just on were, were, were asking me what kind of proof do I need to see to believe it? That lets me know they're the goddamn creators of the fucking proof. Okay. Max. They're, they're a proof factory. So when you look in the phone, when over here, there, there's people going like, oh, well, did you see uh, did you see this new person with a new name and a new profile found some stuff? Man, fuck that. I don't care. We, we already know what happened. She, AWP already found a body. Now we need to observe what's there. All this extra shit motherfuckers trying to pack on, y'all are trying to confuse people, and we ain't stupid. Yeah, I want to hear AWP. I want to hear what AWP has to say. And so... Until the, like they're so, they know something, dude. They're so, sitting on it, bro. They're sitting. They're on it. sitting on it. Yes. And they're going to take a few months to not do the right thing, and they're going. To the cops ain't telling you, but this is what we got. Decide for yourself at this point. Like they've been saying, all the time something's fucking fishy, or they would not have done what they did. So something's yeah. up. Something's what up, four twenty? Yeah. And they tell Ryan, on, hold dude. off, hold doing? off on the donation. Hold off on the donation. Yeah, because it's a fucking fucked up case. And they Look, that's stay another out. thing. Look, I am. I have DM'd them. I have emailed them. Whatever their reason is, I'm not mad at them. Right. But you just, people need to know that there is a reason they ain't doing certain things. Right. Facts. But, but right. you know, it's not our place to, it ain't our place to, like, hound them. You know, they're grown men. And everybody on the internet's like, well, why don't you tell AWP? Motherfucker, I don't. What do you want me to do? What? Yeah, right. What the fuck? Yeah, and people's like, people's like, why don't you just cash up them the money? You yeah. want me to cash up a hundred thousand oh, dollars? What the hell? Way? Yeah, that's how yeah. the feds not I'm like, yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of shit goes into moving a hundred thousand dollars. You're not just going to Venmo Facts. it. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. <laughs> and everybody that's watching this knows, and my friend, my close friends that are in this panel right now knows, I have no issue. Bringing them a cashier's check, driving the car to their house, no, wiring the money to them, it don't matter. I'll do it. Say when. But that's hey, Ryan, thing. tell them where you keep the key to the Hellcat. That blew me away, bro. Tell them where the key's at. Where? In the motherfucker. Oh, yeah, in the motherfucker. You want, you know what I mean? Like, it ain't, yeah. people think, oh, my God, it's a Hellcat. It's $100,000. Like, yo, it's, I get it. It's a lot. But in the grand scheme of things, give that motherfucker away. Ain't no problem. Man, the car I drive the most was like eight thousand bucks, Ryan. And that's what I'm saying. You put that car up, right? If there's uh -huh. four hundred kids at that party, somebody's dropping that's a dime, right. bro. Yep. Somebody's dropping a dime. Somebody, yeah. Yeah. especially yeah. a kid, teenage boys, yeah, for sure. teenage boys. That's yeah. a dream car for somebody. Hey, <laughs> if Dagburn does want to get in here, I'd like to hear what Dagburn thinks, bro. Dagburn, yeah, let's go, bro. dog. Let's go. Oh, that man's got a clean, clear <laughs> mind now. I want to hear Dagburn's theory. I, I know he's got, he sees something. Maybe I That's can That's a smart the, individual, man. He he knows what's going on. He also, <laughs> No, I, dude, I, I told I told Dagburn, bro. I straight up, me and Kurt even not talk about it. I don't have a problem with him no more. He's uh, trying to better himself. Facts. But see, Yo, he's seen through. 
He's seen through all of it, man. You know, I, every time I see that dude, he's positivity, positivity, positivity. That's what's yep. up. Yep. Yeah. And he said the other day yeah. on a video, it, you, you don't bring up the past. It's the past. And, that, and that's exactly yep. what he said. I ain't got no beef with Ryan. Hey, that's right. called swallowing your pride, dog. And if he can swallow his pride, I fuck with Dagburn. Yep. Me too. Yep. Facts. I'm just going to be straight up. He <laughs> <laughs> was going to be like, what the hell? But no, I mean, dude, that's that's how you make the world a better place. Talking Thanks. to people and understanding. Look at look at all look what the what internet's you, doing to people's fucking brain, he, dude. Ryan, you mean it's not getting a fucking true crime channel and fucking scamming for money and and, oh, and cash apps? That's not what that's not what you're supposed to do. There's fucking weirdos. weirdos. Like the one dude. The one dude's like, I don't understand how people can make money from this. I'm like, hey, jackass, do you see the fucking the the, the GoFundMe that's getting the money right. dumped into it? Right. <laughs> Fucking crazy, yeah. like, and, the, and the and the glare when he was set trying to fucking go at you, bro. You called him a beta male. That hit him hard, dude. That oh, bro, he hard. about to start crying. Oh, that, I was dying, bro. He was, couldn't help but laugh. He, he couldn't, couldn't help shaking, laugh. bro. I said, "Why are you shaking so bad? You're not even the here. You're through the screen." <laughs> but what do you? So yeah, man. I don't know. Yep. Yep. It's crazy, dude. But yeah, these What's people up, are Craig trying to make money off this bullshit, and and, and what, they're allowed to speculate, but nobody's allowed to say shit. You know what I mean? It's just them. Their opinion's right, so that's where they're at. <laughs> Craig, <be gay. sighs> I don't understand why it's going to take them two months to come out with anything else. Like, why the fuck? And and plus, they can put a date on it. Like yeah, the pol- right. I don't know if you saw that, Ryan, or not, but we I sent it to the group chat. The police said that they ain't coming out with anything else until November 1st. Really? Why? Yes. On the autopsy report, they're not coming out with anything else until November 1st. That's that makes total not sense. Yep. None, none at all. Well, that just means we got to stay on it for 60 days. Exactly. Hey, Ryan. I hate to interrupt, bro, but Braylon will not go to sleep because she says, tell Uncle Ryan I said goodnight. <laughs> so Where she's watching at? it on Cass's phone. She's like, can you tell me goodnight? <laughs> Good night, sweet dreams. I put Thank my pop you, buddy. Up. Thank you. Oh. Go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, see, you ever you ever see them true trick crime channels? They're on for like 13 hours straight. They don't tend to their kids. They they shit in their pants. They gotta wear they must be wearing diapers and shit. It's crazy. <laughs> they don't leave. They don't leave the fucking thing for 13 hours. They got kids running all over. I it's think we got a up. super chat. <laughs> 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 and the glare is up there showing his little fucking opera nipples being like, yeah, guys, I'm a fucking, I'm a hardy boy. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Dude loser. thinks he's trying to try to scare somebody being like, I'm going to come to Nashville. Motherfucker, bring your ass to Nashville. <laughs> oh, my goodness. These internet people are fucking weird, man. A lot yeah. of these popular ones are fucking weird. Yeah. And that's coming from a popular YouTuber. They're fucking weird. Yep. Yeah. They don't live in like reality or something, man. It's like all game show to them or something. That's what it is, right? That's what it is. This they're so wrapped up in YouTube, it's their life. YouTube and, you. and you could be anything you want on YouTube if nobody knows you. you know Brad I mean? Paisley, like, bro. It's crazy. Uh, a lot so of people, much cooler all. <laughs> a lot of these people that are complaining and saying stuff are the same people that face to face will be like, Oh my god, you're right. That's so weird. Like right. it's that keyboard toughness, man. That people just like to resist, dude. Oh, bro, then it's the same people that see you out in public and go, oh, where's your security? I'm like, it's on my fucking hip. What do you want? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. That is very true facts, sir. Let's see. Who else can we get in here? Oh, Pamela Irene Ludwig. What's up, Pam? And if you're a true primer and you don't go and you're on a panel and you don't have a camera up, I don't believe anything you say. So, Yo, you know, guys, I'm hey, right. I'm trying yeah, to get the delay to cut off. Can you yeah, hear me? Well, okay. Hey, you get a free one one time pass, but every time I go in there, I Ryan, you hear me? Me earlier. Ryan seen me earlier. I'm real. He all right. He, he is real. I was in there. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Hers wasn't working. It's bothersome because sometimes. Nah, they're cool. Breaking fiddles. What's up, brother? What's up, man? How you doing, Ken? Help us understand this, bro. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> well, why is everybody lying? Like blatantly. It's not like a theory. They're actually lying. 
I, I definitely think that there's some funny style shit going on with this case. I definitely think that there's a, if there was a party, I think there's some hinky shit definitely going down over there. Mm-hmm. Um, from what I understand, they throw those parties frequently and they're selling mm-hmm. booze to underage kids and all kinds of shit. So you know there's sex offender, child molester motherfuckers hiding out in those parties. You know that shit, man. Yeah. My belief is something foul play happened for sure, and I believe it was Kylie. I think she just had a small internet footprint. That's what I believe. I think mm. she lived in the, the backwoods out there in Tahoe. There's no internet connection up there and stuff and where she, her and her family live. A lot of people that stayed at that uh, inn that they, they own, they said that they, they go black out there. There's no internet. Wow. So I, I don't know. I mean, I think she just had a small end, but I think she I think there's foul play for sure. And I think some foul shit happened at that party. Mm. And I think a lot of people, I think their parents are, you know, got money and they're telling them to shh and all kinds of shit. Like, you, know you think mean? do you think I, I can I uh so I'm gonna do my panel a little different. I, I wanna ask questions to you guys if that's cool. Hit me. Absolutely. Do you right think wise, you. do y'all think that Sammy and Mags is actually Cal- this Cali girl's friends? Absolutely no, not. Nope. I don't think Sammy nope. knew her, nope. not barely any. I think she nope. might have maybe got her to go to that party, but nope. I, I don't think they were friends, not at all. Do you nope. think that they're the age they say they are? No, not no. even. No. no, older, no. older, twenties, twenties, early. That's 20s. about twenty four. Seven. Yeah. Yo, yeah. wait a minute. Yeah. So oh, if that's if that's a consensus, like if everybody truly believes that, then that proves that there's something up because the cops are going to take names and statements. You're not going on a news segment and saying I'm 16 and really be 21, and that's not legal. Like there's a lot of people going to jail. Then. So I, I agree, but I feel like those kids are probably their age, maybe a little bit older. Like my, my daughter's 19 and she looks like she's in her twenties. And but, girls do look older. You're right. Yes. You're right. So You're I, right. I feel Just like they, these it, girls are of the same age, maybe about 19, 18, but they're not from her group of friends. They're, right. they're right. like the kids that were bullies to her essentially yep. is how I, right. And I feel like mm-hmm. that's why they're wondering. doing it. If You're not going to get true there. friends to act the way that they're acting. Yeah, like did they get did they take her somewhere to fucking fuck with her and bully her and like I don't know that's the kind of shit I could see them mean girls doing that type of girl. Yo, they left her at a party drunk supposedly and high. Do you think get they're the really fuck out of here. a search party and a bunch of files and going and running and chasing? Sammy, Sammy, straight up talking about she's taking all fucking questions and, yeah. and come come report to me. Yeah. It's like fuck are you yeah so yeah i mean yeah. It, it, there's a lot that just don't add up i i tend yes. to believe she's real i tend to believe that, that some foul play happened something really foul yep. happened. and I, I i'm thinking she she i'm thinking she there either wasn't a party or she didn't make it to that party and then whoever had her truck was at that party with her in that vehicle in the back it's the only thing that can make sense. Nobody's that's, that's, walking away from their friend drunk at 12.30 and saying, oh, she called me at 12.36. Yeah, but her phone went dead at 12.30. So who the fuck's telling the truth there? What, what's that about? Like, yeah. Uh, it, it don't make sense. And, and, and like, and, you know, even though all these people are like, oh, man, you know, and, and like comparing me to fucking people who talk about politics and shit. I fucking hate politics. I loved it when I was younger. I hate it now. Because when you know what the shit is, you know that there really ain't no side. It's just no. it's just the government versus us, pretty much, if I feel like. Yep. yep. And even then, Orange I think the it's game. the government versus the government, because I think there's it's some cool. people who have good intentions in the government, some who have bad. We're all pawns so, in a game. Dude, yeah, there's good and bad to literally everything in life, whether it's an ant, a tiger, a human, or a fucking alien. There's all good and bad. So Absolutely. my question is, where is the pictures? Exactly. Of her at the party with the car or with any of the friends? None. Yeah, see, my wife thinks that she was dead before any of that. Okay, right. so that, that's a theory me and Kurt was talking about. Yeah, she did. That, that could possibly be it. Like, she, what if she was dead before? Yes. Before the party. Nope. <laughs> and, that's dude, my okay, wife. another thing. Why did Sammy lawyer up? Why is everybody saying she lawyered up? Is that true? I, I heard, heard she did. I don't know if it's true, but I heard it's true. Well, who knows? 
you know. Oh, what the hell? Hold on. Hello. Can I hear you? It it you yeah, can everybody hear me up here? I'm spinning. Yeah, I can hear yeah, you. I can hear all, you. Right, all right, all right. Just can't what see the hell? Yeah. Oh. I can't get my camera to work. I don't know, so. I think I think she never made it to that party. She was dead before. All right, man, I'm gonna do it right now. That's what I right, my my personal opinion. This sounds like it's, hey, I'm gonna kick, I'm gonna kick everybody out and add everybody back in because it's froze. All right, hang on one second. So all right, just here, breaking fetters, four twenty. Move. Okay, now add. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Yo, it just shitted. Bro, it is shit in right now. What the hell? Hmm. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but this motherfucker is frozen solid. Uh... Let me fix some of these mugs real quick. Wait, he ain't a guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, why ain't it working for him? What's up? Hey, what's up, Up Church? How's it going? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Following all your stuff, I'm all into you right now. <laughs> oh, this shit is crazy, dude. We can it's hear you, wild. Church. We can we can hear you. Oh, you can hear me? Yes, sir. It just won't let Kurt in. Kurt, I think it's on your side, buddy. It's letting everybody else in. So what do you what do you think, Larissa? Um, you know what? I know that you guys were talking about the trafficking thing earlier, and I honestly think that has to do a lot with what's going on. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, just the way that the Kylie Rodney family has been acting supposedly, like as far as it goes with like the money and like AWP stealing their story, supposedly whatever. Mm -hmm. And I watched a video and I seen that they were like, Hey, you know, um, <clears throat> their GoFundMe had like stopped as soon as AWP got that, um, exposure because of the case and they found her, mm -hmm. um, so I was like, damn, must, is is it really about that money? Is like, was this a real thing? I can't tell. Um, I'm also thinking that like, maybe this wasn't a big party of 300 people. Maybe this was a setup, some type of small kickback or something like that, you know, where they had Sammy and, you know, some familiar faces come. Maybe it was a setup. Maybe they were all paid off and like something happened, you know, um, and that's why the place or county sheriffs are so suspect. And then Zanime has photos on Facebook with the spokesperson, I guess. And, you know, so I'm definitely thinking that it has something to do with trafficking for sure. I mean, and then I think that you had mentioned some like seven year old missing person case. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And the girl looks just like Kylie. Uh, now, what if they just got tired of that girl, put her in the back of that car and they used Kylie because she's fresh meat. And this is all just one conspiracy cover up. You know what I mean? See what I'm Yeah. So like. A cop was telling me, he was like, one time there was a murder back in the day where somebody got away with the first murder. So mm -hmm. they used that person and then got similar people because like weirdos have like a, what do you call it? Um, is it they like, like when they like one certain kind of person, what is that called? A preference. Yes, yes, a preference for so, sure. Yeah. So then they overlapped the people. So they never got caught. I was like, dude, that's wild. Like, who the hell would believe that? But I mean, look at this. Who the hell would believe this? Like, this is crazy sounding too. Yeah, you know, when I started looking at missing persons cases and in that area, and there's so many people who are 14 to 16, 17 year olds all going missing in that area, all in the year of 2020. They got them all through to the year of 2022. It's like, how did this case get so much exposure and why? Um, it's just trying to figure out like the whys and hows of everything. Um, and who's going to get away with what, you know, I don't think that they meant to get this much exposure. 
Yeah, definitely. I don't think so either. I don't think they wanted it to blow up this big. But of course, I think that you were one of the first people on it blowing it up. And, and you know, you have a huge following. And now everybody's just into it. Because I know on my TikTok, I'm going in and I'm just having my stuff flooded too. And I'm like, I can't answer everybody all this. You know, I just can only speculate. And Church, you got people finding out about you now, like out of nowhere. They didn't even know about your music or anything uh, just because you went into that case. And that's they, pretty hell, but- wild. That's the thing, like, a lot of them still don't even know I do music, which is fine. Like, I want people to, I want people to focus on what's going on because, bro, this, look, every picture we've been shown is bullshit. It, it, it's all, why the lady on the last panel, she's like, well, I got pictures. I'm like, okay, lady, well, if you got pictures, you should turn them into the fucking cops. Why are you got these pictures <laughs> yeah. that nobody's got? Hello? Because people don't have anything. They what is going want on? To have us all. Oh, it's a lag. It was a lag switch. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, no, I think that all these people, this tow truck driver came out of nowhere, whether AWP thinks he's credible or not, like, you know, private company locking down the footage, everything. We're never going to see that footage. Mm-mm. You know, and he could sit there and he could say, hey, like, I'm looking at you and I'm going to give you all these specifics two weeks later. But you can't point out somebody in a picture and yeah. be like, hey, it was this guy. It's yeah. all just big cover ups. It, it, the tow truck driver was sent in like he didn't contact no authorities. We would have had some type of statement from a police officer or some spokesperson right from the county that would have been like, hey, we got this information from this person. But no, they went for AWP. For all this exposure, because they know they're big and they wanted to throw everybody off all over again, because it has to be some type of conspiracy with the with the Placer County area. And the car was neutral too. I mean, that was a little wild. And dude, that's the thing. Everybody's like, "Well, well, AWP." And I don't get this. That last group we were just with is literally trying to cause trouble with people that ain't got nothing. I mean, they have something to do with it, but they're obviously not. Somebody did something wrong. And I'm talking about AWP. These people are like. Why didn't AWP do this, do that? You know, they found what y'all want them to find, or what y'all wanted them to find. What is the problem? They didn't find it in the right order that you want them to find it in. What is the deal? They did their job. They left. Yeah. <laughs> what, and what, everybody's what? mad about that, especially the family. I don't understand that. Why is the family so angry? A mom who begged for her daughter to be found so badly is tra- is is trashing the shit out of these people. Who actually found her daughter, supposedly? Like, what is that? That don't make any sense. Like, it don't make mom, sense I how they didn't grateful. find her when they searched the river, the first or the 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 lake or whatever. I mean, dude, you could obviously see it. Exactly. It's not that you could probably swim right over it and your foot's gonna touch the bottom of that shit. Bro, I don't care what nobody says. Me and five of my friends and a quarter of weed and some magnets could have found that car. Oh heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's facts. Not even a big magnet. <laughs> Not even a big one, no. <laughs> a flat great. bottom John boat, two people hanging out each side, going up and down, up and down with them hanging, what, 10, 12, 15 feet down? Yeah. I mean, look at AWP. They found them in what, 32 minutes? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, that's how, like, it's like, how did they not find them the first time if they thoroughly searched? It's because they didn't want to find it. They weren't looking for it. They 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 knew it was in there. They just wanted to keep it hidden in there and say that it searched. They didn't think AWP was going to come out and do this case. They do cold yeah. cases. Yeah. They didn't and think like, they were going to come find nothing. And like, what's his name just said in the comments? Um, AWP's not investigators. They, they show up to find something. So exactly. I don't know why everybody's mad at him. I, I just don't get it. And then people were like, well, why did, why did they uh, interview that tow truck driver? Well, probably because he's acting weird. Ugh. Yeah. Who comes up to you best buy, like, hey, man, uh, <laughs> let me interrupt you and t- talk some shit about some stuff. They're like, uh, what the hell? All right. Yeah, if, if, if you pay attention to the AWP video, they said that, that there's another step in this case that if it goes to that next step, they've got more footage to release. So I wouldn't be surprised if that next footage is going to be something that's going to tie the driver into it somehow. Ooh. Dude, I'm telling you. I mean, honestly, bro, that's what I think. 
Uh, I mean, otherwise, why would he say what he said? He he painted the same exact picture as this anime girl, as the Ronnie Jones guy. Oh, yeah, she she must have had a rough night. She might have been hung over. Dude, you're saying exactly what the other people said. Yeah. Why? yeah. Everything's so weird. It's just such a quirky case. I mean, and I didn't know about the case until my mom had told me she was watching you for a while, but we had been watching Adventures with Purpose for a long time, too. And then me and her have been just crazy, just nonstop on here. And I'm like, I don't hear anything but the YouTubers dissecting the case. Where's that? Where's all these authorities? We, we're discovering everything in the case before they even are doing anything. Yeah. And I want to make an I want to make another point. It's good that we got a level headed female in here and we got some some dudes in here. OK, guys and and uh, miss. If you are. If it's a if you're broke down or whatever, and the a, a flatbed driver comes to get your car or whatever the hell he came to do, if you see a little blonde headed girl acting weird like something is wrong with this other dude named Jagger there, I'm sorry, bro. Jagger ain't big enough. Jagger getting knocked the fuck out. Especially that dude that was on the interview. That dude was like fucking six foot one. Obviously in shape. Why didn't you snatch the dude up or ask or ask, hey, are, is everything okay, sweetie? You didn't ask none of that? How big are your balls? Wait, what the hell? Exactly. You didn't you make sure the email was okay? Yeah. The, the the thing to me about the whole tow truck driver, there, there was, there's three different things with his interview that I, I haven't understood exactly how everything went. Because they're calling him tow truck guy, but in the in the video, it Doug says truck. that he drove yeah. a van. Yeah. Doug, Doug says he drove a van. Really? Yeah, he, yep. he said he, that, that he was driving a service van. He yeah. says that twice in the video. Oh, but then he man. but then he calls him tow truck guy, and then, oh, and then the other man. thing is, you know, I heard on a live the other day. I, I've been on a few of these panels, and I heard somebody say the other day that um, you know, that, that young ladies sometimes are taught that if they're in a situation where they're uncomfortable, and they don't feel like they can just out come right out and say, "Hey, I'm I'm in a situation that I need to get out of," that they kind of use these odd terms and, and ask these weird questions to let somebody know, "Hey, something's not right here." And so they felt like that might have been what she was doing. She was trying to hint, hey, how do I put on my seatbelt? How do I do this to try to trigger something in him to go, hang on, something's not right here. But then it took I him a week to come to, forward. I think he was trying to paint the picture of the girl being drunk, not being able to, like, buck yeah. her seatbelt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he, he, he even said in the video that she was asking, how do I connect it to my belt? Like, why would somebody want to connect their seatbelt to their belt? <laughs> See? Yeah. That don't make any yeah. sense. No. But but that's what I'm saying. Like like I, I try to put myself in a situation if I was that tow truck driver out there and I had a a young girl with this guy and they're being sketchy. They're not even standing on the same side of the vehicle, and and she's asking these weird questions. And then she asks me, "How do I connect my seatbelt to my belt?" I, in my mind, I'm gonna go, "Hold up, something ain't right here." I looked at her and went, "What the fuck do you mean?" Like, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. And then, and, and and then, and then also, you know, Doug and Doug and them from AWP even said that you couldn't go anywhere in that area without seeing the flyer. And this guy evidently worked in Truckee the whole weekend. And if this happened on Saturday, that means he was right back in Truckee the next day. So he goes a week without ever noticing that this is the same car that is tied to this missing person case. It doesn't. That doesn't make any Ooh, sense. Oh, yeah, true. You got to know, you got to know something. There's a, isn't it like That's a more there. smaller city too? Like wouldn't you like it's a smaller town, everybody pretty much knows everybody. Bro, if my if my mayor trips and falls and scrapes his elbow, the whole town knows. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's how it is where I'm at. I mean, <laughs> I mean there's 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 in, in the little town that I live in there's there's one red light. I mean, anything happens around here, we know about it. And, you know, and I wanted to touch on that, too, um, what you guys had said about the tow truck driver and how, like, he should have noticed something and asked if she was okay. You know, there's people out there because I know this guy, he's a homeless guy and he's local around here. And I used to, when I was younger, go walking in these short shorts and he stopped me one time and he said, hey, girl, why are you walking out here like this? You know, there's there's crazy people out here. Like, are you okay? Are you going to be okay? Do you need some help? You know? It mm -hmm. just shows that there's people that should be realizing those things and they should be out there doing that. I mean, if she's given some type of sign and being really off and really weird, he should have asked her something. Mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah. so, so mm -hmm. there is people who do that. And, and I don't know what was going through this guy's head. Maybe he was just like, Hey, fuck it. Let me get out of here. You know, but, but yeah. we don't 
we don't know. And we'll never see the footage, I don't think. So, I mean, we will never know. And not only that, dude, look at the key players that are acting weird and doing shit. One, they're all putting out misinformation. Two, they're all jumping on. This is the source of where we can tell a lot of people what the fuck's up and we can have conversations about it. This is what they have to get rid of. They have to get rid of people having conversations. Look, even we've been on this panel for, uh, I don't know how long I can't see, but people have already come on here and had different opinions. We're not yelling and screaming. The yelling and screaming only happens when it's on their shit. I might be doing it, but it only happens on their shit because they're gaslighting. And, and Ryan, I was on a pee the other day, and I meant to catch you before you got off, but that was going to make my exact point to you, is even though we don't all agree, we can all agree to disagree, and we're all trying to work towards the same outcome. Exactly. And and, 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 and there's there, there's no reason to, you know, I I, I may think that your, some of your theories are, are wrong. You may think some of mine are wrong. But that's how we get to the truth is by discussing it and figuring out what's more logical, what's not more logical, what makes sense, what doesn't make sense. But we're never going to do that if we can't have conversations. 100 percent yeah i agree and, and and i mean that that's the way it is with everything in the world i mean that's that's why our world's the way it is right that's now how america was created can't. bro well yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I, mean, I mean i've got I, i've got people on social media right now that when the whole kyle rittenhouse thing went down i had my stance on it and people blocked me and everything else on facebook just because i had a certain stance you know what i mean and it's yeah. like it's just it blows my mind it's like they only want people around that, that are for the same agenda they're for Otherwise, and, they don't and, fuck with you. Yeah, yeah. Or and, and and if you don't believe the same thing they do, you can kick rocks. Oh yeah, bro. That why, that's why I'm getting attacked all the time, bro. Look, people don't like shit that don't make sense, and I don't make sense. I'm a country ass motherfucker. Why hasn't she been charged with something yet as far as that goes? You, you're not going to charge an adult with giving a minor alcohol or something like that. Like, like where is where is anything going on with her? She's obviously guilty. She placed herself there the whole night with Kyle. Just trying to. Go? Oh, oh yeah. it's all right. We're good now. Black switch. <laughs> what are you doing, Renaissance? How we doing, sir? Sorry, sweetie, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just wanted oh, no, to uh, say good. hey to him. So uh, what you doing, Pippin? What'd you say, honey? Oh, no, I, I just was trying to see, like, you know, what do you guys think about those? Like, do you guys, where's where's her charges? What do you guys think about that? Like, why hasn't she been charged? with? How you going to interview that? somebody and oh, something like that? I want to know why would... Somebody hacking my shit or something? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, why when they when they found her, the Sammy chick apparently come out and said, "No, they didn't." Yeah, exactly. Like where 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 did you think she was? You did you know? Hello. Can we block that so we can talk to people who's already in here? Oh yeah, remove that. So, uh, okay, thank you. Right back. Sorry, my guy's monitoring our stuff. Um, but yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to get off topic. 
Well, I think that's all part of having a good general conversation. Facts. Mm-hmm. Well, we probably think, know. Man? Uh, that's a lot of stuff I got to say about this case, man. You probably know who I am, but uh, I do know well, who you are. Yeah, I went. Uh, I was a guy that went viral for uh, in the school board meeting for s- smashing up the CRT stuff, uh, and also uh, I did. Uh, I, I do reaction videos, and you one of the main people that I react to on my channel. I watch but you, um, yeah, yeah, I, I, man, I did a long let. I, I gave I, I gave a shout out video to an old girl tried to play you and everything. The one you did the Hey Boy Hey Girl song to that I, I love. Know. <laughs> man yeah that was banging dude and i put a lot of people on to you man and uh um, thank you i appreciate that but uh yeah with this whole thing though man it's it's a when you have sketchy stuff in here like this man there seem to be a whole lot of like just foul play to just make you like okay something don't see right and i definitely agree with you guys i'm one of those people that i'm i guess you can call it weird i love watching like the forensic files and all those things like that yeah. so when they found her in the car like she was i'm like mm, that girl was dead before she got in that water I mean, mm-hmm. no signs of struggling in the car or anything like that. You mean there was no attempts and nails broken off or trying to get out the window or anything like that? She just was Ooh. in the car chilling, just dead. You know what I mean? And I'm in the medical field as well. So me, I'm the type of person to where I want to know once everything comes out, the toxicology report or anything like that, when the rigor mortis set in and if there's any buildup of lactic acid in her body to see if there was a struggle while she was in that car because all this stuff is going to come into play. Yeah. So. I know there's a lot of speculation that can go on as to what happened before. I mean, there was some strange stuff with the tow truck guy and all that. I mean, that was like a mm-hmm. weird thing. Like, dude, you seen this girl that had a look in her eye or something like that and something went right. You couldn't get in the car and be like, yeah, such and such. I got a car that I was getting ready to take here and something really seemed right. I don't know if she's intoxicated. Da, 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 da. Point is, I don't think she she should be driving nor he. So can y'all get some units out here just to kind of check it out? Da, da, da. And I don't know why he just happened to skip that. Maybe it was a long night. Maybe he was just like, I see this stuff all the time. but. Mm-hmm. As far as her uh, dying in that car in the water, mm, what what is the Rick and Mortis thing again? Rick and Mortis is like whenever the body. Here the time before all that sets in. So at the same time, though, uh, with toxicology, you know, with just toxicology, with the opsops, you can also tell based off of like what they might find in her lungs, like be it water or whatever that might be in the surrounding area. Mm-hmm. Um, how long she was dead before any of that. So that's going to be the key. The key is going to be that autopsy. But like I said, it all depends on who all have their hand playing in this because if that toxicology report and the, and, and the autopsy come out, making it like, oh, you know, she indeed did just happen to die in the car. She passed. No, no. Yeah, dude. I, yeah, I, I'm with you on that. So, hey, uh, this guy just asked, and this is probably a question that's better for you since you're in the medical field. Somebody said... uh ain't getting no toxicology report she a minor what, what that is- has nothing to do with anything if it was a if it's if it's a homicide and it's suspecting it to be a homicide there is no such thing as somebody telling them that they can't do a uh um a toxicology report or an autopsy especially mm. if they rule it that and if the investigators want to find out or the detectives don't want to find out if this girl was murdered before and after yeah she's a minor but at the same time because it's such a high you no know, profile case like this they can go in there and try to figure out what it is that actually killed her. Mm-hmm. So, which I don't think that there would be a parent out there that wouldn't want to know how their child died. Yeah. You know, because if somebody murdered my child, I'm not just going to go, well, my child is a minor and I don't want them to touch my daughter. Or, no. <laughs> find out how my daughter died so I can find out who by I might need means. to go after or something. Yeah. By any means, I want to know exactly what happened. See, that's the thing that I don't understand, man. And, you know, when you step back and look at the whole thing, they them getting mad after she was found is the most the worst part to me. No, I yeah. would not be mad, bro. I'd be like, thank you. Now let's go to the next step, find out what happened, so I can go find who the hell did this. That's right. That's most that's most parents. That's what I'm saying. That's what makes it all so weird because that's most parents' reaction is to is to okay, let's go. Who who did this? I want to know who did this. Can y'all, I want, I want to know everything you guys know about this. What happened to my child? That's what I want to know. Not mm-hmm. just I'm angry and I'm outraged. I'm like, no. So, no. Can I, uh, so can I ask y'all a question? And look, just so y'all know, this is a, this is, <laughs> don't, don't base my actions on my, on these other panels. Cause they be gaslighting here. You can have your own opinion, bro. Everybody can. What do you think about the Xanime chick, bro? Oh, she's sketch, bro. She, I mean, dude, you can't just you can't just ride a kayak over there, bro. I mean, I guess you could, but 
I don't see that happening. She's never been there. She ain't got a, her YouTube channel got like four videos about nuclear bombs and shit. And she's just like, I'm going to Truckee today. Hey, we're going to Truckee with a kayak. It's like, what? Why? Right. It, it don't make any sense, man. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's something that you've never did before, but you're just going to decide on this particular day. I'm just going to go and just give this a shot. Yeah. <laughs> and then delete the video, bro. Right. Did she That's do it? Or who? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like, well, uh, she deleted it off of YouTube. Yeah. And then ah. she put it back. Hey, but then she put it back up. But it's like 12 seconds shorter than the other one. That's because at one part in the video, I got it saved on my computer. She raises the phone up. And she's walking down a trail, right? But the blue dot to where she's going is where the damn car went in the water. What yeah, the see. What the fuck? Yeah, she, that, that to me, that seemed like she might be possibly tampering with some type of evidence that she might have on there in the location that she was at. Because that don't make sense to take that video down and delete it. And the thing is, Benny, okay, you, you're on YouTube just like I am. You know, YouTube, there's ways that you can go in there and edit the video to take out a, trim out certain spots in there. Oh, yeah. So if they really wanted to, like I said, if they investigated it and they looked into it like how we're doing it right now. The police would be able to call YouTube and say, hey, this video was edited, but it always tell you that the original one has been saved. Oh, they tell you that. Right. Yep. They tell you that. So I was like, OK, pull the original one. I want to see this because I want to see where she was in this location. Then they can ask, what, what in the world were you doing there? Why? Mm. You see what I'm saying? It's and, you know, another thing, I, dude, I, 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 this is a good conversation. So. I tried to put myself in AWP shoes, right? I was like, man, if I went there and shit was kind of sketchy and I went underwater and everybody's acting weird, nobody else is searching really, and I go underwater and see some super sketch shit, especially after I just find this mug in like 20 minutes, right? Dude, if I come back up out the water and see all these police staring at me, bro, I'll be scared. I'll be like, yo, how the hell am I getting out of this town? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being real, bro. Cause like if they said they searched the whole the whole lake and they're like, yeah, we got all these hours, and they put their boat in and click the button and find it. When I come back up out the water and she's in the back, I'm gonna be like, oh shit. Right. It, Fuck it, this that, shit I'm out. Exactly. That's the whole part of saying all that craziness, man. It just sets in there, man. Just there's too much stuff in here. You know, like I'm the type of person, like, I guess, like you said, and people might think you're weird about it, but I'm the type of person where I'm going to keep digging. I'm going to keep asking. You have to make this make sense to me. You know, you just not going to be able to just tell me something and just say, right. okay, this is it. This is over. No, you have to make, this has to make sense. Y'all can't just say, oh yeah, this is what happened. Yeah. She just did this and went into there and now it's over. It's a wrap. Let's close. No, why are y'all trying to close it up so fast? Facts, dude. <laughs> no. That could be somebody else's daughter. Yep. Bro, yes. that could be that could be anybody's daughter. Like, and see, that's the thing. People's like, why you care so much? Cause motherfucker, the world should care more. And bro, if we cared about our neighbor more and cared about what happened to kids more, maybe these weirdos wouldn't be trying to steal so many damn people. Right. And this like I said, it said it said that like one of the windows was actually one of the windows was halfway rolled down, the other one was broken, but she couldn't get out. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. It just man, you're 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 I don't care who you are. The body, it, it will fight to try to survive. So if yeah. you're under some type of water drowning, even if you try to commit suicide, the body still, even like I tell people, I mean, we've had people to come into the, you know, the hospital and things that have attempted to do certain things. But even if you, even people that have successfully, let's, I'm, I'm just giving people some examples, people that have successfully hung themselves, mm -hmm. whatever like that, even in doing so, their body still will fight to try to stay alive. Yeah, if they can tie their hands behind their back. It will still sit because the body wants to live. So the fact that she was in there with a broken window out of the car and also one led halfway down, and you telling me she didn't try to struggle to get out? Mm -mm. Damn, you got a point, bro. I didn't even think nope. of that. Uh, no, makes a lot of sense. No, and hey, that's another thing, bro. So when it comes to the car, so when I was watching the uh, the AWP video, I was like, man, dude, I was like, that really makes sense because. They flipped when AWP, when you watch their video and they go underwater, the rearview mirror is not broke. That mug is broke because they flipped the car over. If you watch how AWP takes shit out of the water, it's exactly how it's sitting. Why this time they said, no, we're going to take it out. And they flip it over and they make it look like it's being moved backwards like it drove in. But that ain't how it went in. That's why no. AWP takes stuff out of the water like they do. Right. 
that's what that, like I said, man. This is the thing that just makes you just come on, y'all. Something's going up. And then I mean, just me knowing this too with the autopsy and stuff, they are talking about, oh, you know, it may be like another two months or so before they actually release it. Mm. It's like, man, come on, y'all. Two, two months, two months. Oh, we gotta get like we gotta get our cross our T's and dot our I's on this two months. You yeah. to already have it, but they want to wait two months to release it to the public. So then what I hate about things like that is by that time, wh what, what's going to what's going to happen within our nation, within the world, within two months is going to have us distracted on something else that we're going to completely forget about this story. Yeah. H how many times has this happened in America since this story happened? Yep. Yep. And, and dude, like, um, do you think Plunder said they will make a statement? No, but yeah. Uh, Renaissance told us that a minute ago. Um, Oh man, I just forgot what I was gonna say. They didn't secure the woods. I don't. I don't know. That might be like something police do. I'm not sure. Uh. So what? How do you see this? How did both of y'all see this end? Then. In the regular world and the one where we press these motherfuckers and find out what happened. You know what? Honestly, I think, and and I said this earlier. I, I went on this whole rant about it earlier. Um, I definitely think that they're going to try and rule it as some type of accident or they're going to pin it on somebody that probably didn't have anything to do with it. Mm. Um, just because I feel like it's so set up. I feel like everybody's just hoping and waiting for it to come out like, oh, it's foul play. Sammy and Jagger murdered her. That's it. Either they're going to pin it on them and be like, yeah, they really murdered him. Or they're going to be like, it was an accident. Somehow her body floated to the back. I don't think that they're going to be like, hey, going too much into it and being like, oh, all this stuff that everybody was saying is true. They, they're not going to verify anything that we're going to say and that we speculate. Yeah. So it's all just one big cover up, I feel like. And I feel like they're definitely, and I said this earlier, like I said, I'd rule it as an accident, most likely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and possibly like they'll try to say involuntary manslaughter or on a, you know, yep. something of that sort. But again, even for them to do that, you know, Man, that's why you know I w in certain places I wish you know like like I say there you got the, what they call like the online detectives where people will fly their drones into there like hey dude fly y'all drones in there just to see if there's any like off because I mean if there's some if, if there's a straight beeline of tire tracks going straight into that water man, no no yeah. there needs to be some squiggly some deep tracks or mud or something if that's some straight lines going into that water I know man no well, that's why just what y'all think about this. What if the tow truck had it on the tow truck and dumped that mug off the back? Well, those tracks would be definitely in that in that uh in that that um uh what you call it that soft ground. They'll mm -hmm. definitely be the track. The tracks will definitely be there. Wait a minute! Mm -hmm. That just gave me an idea. What if it was on the tow truck and they backed it up as far as they could and tilted that mug? And let it off, so there wasn't no tire tracks to the car. But well, that there can was to the flatbed. Well, that can explain, and, be, and that can be a theory as to how the car flipped. Then, like if it went yeah. off, did like that, went to the water and just kind of floated off a different direction, or you know, because mm. usually when cars going to water, they'll kind of bobble or something like that. And it depends on since one window was down, that means that water's going to be rushing in heavily on that side. That can cause the car to tilt to one side and possibly flip over. Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I agree. Oh, wait a minute. It wasn't a tow truck. It was a service van. I keep forgetting that. Okay, okay, okay. So that debunks that. Well, I mean, what if he's just saying it was a service van? How do we know everything that he's saying is completely accurate? Oof, man, yeah, that's a point, too. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, because I, 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 like I said, no footage. There's no no credibility to what he's saying until somebody sees some type of footage that he actually seen them or something, right? Yeah. And that's what I want to know about this call, too, because he's like, well, I, 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 mean, I tried to call it in, but nobody picked up and then and i was like what what do you mean so you found it off what like wi-fi like fucking like like shit in the air like where'd you, how'd you find this place <laughs> yeah how'd you know to go there i mean just like where's it like on that you telling me out of all places and all spots you just happen to just end oh. up right there and that's another thing that doug's or doug said or was it doug it was one of them said uh notice the guy was parked across the street with his Shit angled this way, like police watch parking lots. Right. You know what? Another thing, too, with that being said, anybody that might have been in that area and the police want to question, they can ask them, can I see your cell phone so we can see if we can ping it off any of the towers that's nearby? Yep. 
You just ping mm. those cell phones. The people, the person that's in the persons of interest, ping the cell phones. Damn, bro. Yeah, they, get the they, subpoenas for the cell phones. Subpoena them for their for their information. Anything they have, any pictures, anything on those phones that they have, text messages they may have deleted. There's there's recovery systems for that. Oh yeah, because it never goes anywhere. No matter yeah. what, people get rid of that shit. That's no. just in Cody, bro. You do something on that phone, you're in trouble. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fellas, I think I'm gonna get off here and go rob my Harley and relax from this true crime stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it was good seeing you, Renaissance man, dude. I hope I hope I see you when this new album comes out, brother. Oh yeah, definitely. I got uh, you. I, I support you big time, man. You and uh my guy uh up there in Chi Town, oh, Adam. Yeah, he featured me in one of his videos too. Uh, whenever they were trying to his video about racism and all that, I hit that on that stuff big. So that's when it is lately. I just been one of those people that's been going around America right now because since everything exploded with them trying to divide us based off of race and all this, and it's I'm killing folks, you. man. Because that's exactly what they that's that's what they're trying to do, man. They're trying to divide us, trying to make us all focus on race and all this nonsense like that. And hopefully this time around, you know, these real red blooded patriot Americans are gonna stand up and take care of business, man. Because this stuff. A lot of us are done with this. A lot of people in the black communities are completely done with this, but they don't want to portray it that way. And oh, that's I'm why, like right now, you. smashing stuff, dude. I'm telling like, ever since that video went viral, I mean, worldwide, the video that I did when I exploded on that school board, 81 million views worldwide. Bro, and, can you share that link so we can watch it? Oh, yeah. I, I've been on, I've since then, I've been on Fox News and Newsmax and some of everything. Let me see. I'll pull it up for you and okay. give it hand it me one second here to get to my channel and pull it up. But yeah, my channel is called Modern Renaissance, man, for the people that's listening. And I do a lot of commentary. I do reaction videos. I give out medical advice, uh, showing people how to change brakes on their cars and all that. I do all <laughs> kinds of stuff on my channel while also running uh, three different medical facilities, directing over them. Oh, wow. So let Big me... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'll pull I'm this telling up you, man, and... that's what they're doing. That's why people ask me, well, what political party are you? I say, Earth, motherfucker. Dang, yes. <laughs> That's what why I tell myself, Earth, motherfucker. Yep, I'm like, I'm not from the right, I'm not from the left, I'm from the upside. So that's all. I'm just bringing the truth out, plain and simple. So don't try to, you know, don't try to box me with anybody or anything like that. Don't do that. I'm not the one. Fact. So the black community has disowned you. I never belong to them. I don't belong to nobody. So don't even try to categorize me with anybody. Oh, I talk about man. the truth, and that's it. And Let don't care if anybody get mad, bro. When I first started rapping, dude, you know how many, dude. That's the same. That's the thing. People don't realize it's the same on both sides. When I started rapping this shit. A bunch of older white people was like, "Man, why are you trying? Why are you trying to be a rapper? Why don't you act like you're white?" I'm like, what? "I like rap music, fool. Look at Elvis, motherfucker. Go tell that to Elvis." Right. I mean, dude, I was like, I mean, like I said, you will see once you uh, go in there and look at my channel, the ones that I reacted to on you. I was shocked, dude, because where I grew up in the Chicago and the projects and the, uh, in the hood, legit hood, dude, we all we had access to was um, all we had access to was rap music, blues, and all that. So what happened is that. Uh, some people just said, you know, you never heard of this person there. I'm like, dude, no. They was like, I tell you what, how about you do just a video of you just listen to some music you never listened to before, and just record yourself. And dude, I started doing that, and it just took off like crazy. Folks started sending in requests. Have you heard of Up Church? Have you heard? Of, have you heard of Struggle Jennings? I'm like, who? So then when I looked it up, I got to be honest. I'm like, hey, these white dudes is bringing it. Like, what the freaking? Are you kidding me? How do we not? So I start showing people a in bag of onions and some bars, bro. man. I'm talking like hardcore doing the beats go hard too. So I'll sit there and what I would do, I would go back to the hood. Like I do a lot of mentorship and, you know, and I'll go back and I'm like, okay, y'all want y'all listen to this real quick. They start listening to it. They're like, Oh shoot. Who is that? And I show a picture of you. They're like, what? Like, bro, <laughs> that's Garth like, cousin, bro. Then they go stop playing. I'm there. It's like, that is not that dude. I'm like, y'all it's him. It's legit. And then I showed them struggle Jennings and Adams and I'm like, Damn, Damn, it, he got killing it, man. And a missing tooth and everything. <laughs> and just out there, just and just out there, just killing it, though, man. But I'll, yeah, I'll it, bring up these links and everything. And let me yeah, see. If you don't mind posting mugs, here go one right here. I'll pop them in here. We'll put them in the private chat or the comment section, too. Bro, put it in the comment section where everybody can see it so they can click it. Okay, let me get it up there. I'll put it. Okay, here's the one with me because I mean, I ain't know who. Uh, this is with Laura Ingram. Bro, do you like the this Drifters channel. or Benny King? Love it. <laughs> oh, me too, bro. Drifters, my favorite freaking old school uh, like band, bro. Love it, man. There's, I mean, it's just so much stuff out there that we just did not know about. And I actually started taking that and um, introducing um, other people, like I said, to it, man. Because a lot of us just didn't have the exposure to it. 
And again, that's one of those things that I think was one of the main things that divided us is that because, you know, you come from where I come from, that's all we had access to. So then it makes you feel like that that's all your world. Yeah. And then you get out there and I start doing these reactions to these different songs and artists I never heard of, man. It's just, it's mind boggling. I mean, grunge and heavy metal and all this stuff. I'm like, dude, this is crazy. Oh, you know, yeah. We used to go to school and think like, hey, these white dudes in here wearing all black and they, all their music do, they, these folks just screaming their music. What's wrong with them? Then, you know, we get to listening to it. And I'm like, oh, man, there's a story behind that. Like the guy from Lincoln Park. I did not oh, know yeah. that he uh, he yelled a lot. Chester, he yelled a lot because I didn't know the dude was being molested by his own father and stuff. I mean, that was. Oh, that damn, was just, for real. Yeah. His father, his father is like the chairman over the organization that deals with children who have been molested and abused while at the same time he was abusing and molesting his own son. So, that, I mean, it was dude, it was wild. So that stuff just kind of. <laughs> Bro, that's why we got to create a big ass American society, bro, where we we are the people of Earth, bro. And that's it, man. Big time, big time, dude. And that's why even right now, I've gone around and spoken around so many different organizations, so many different places, man, because people I, it's crazy. I got invited to the White House back in 2020 mm -hmm. and I got to sit down and talk with Donald Trump and uh, about 45 of us. Right. And that was my first time ever voting in my entire life. Like I'm right now, I'm 40. But at the time I was 39 years old. First time in my life ever voting. And uh, when I got invited there, it was because I was just on my channel, just spilling out stuff. I found out about, you know, slavery and all that stuff, how we've been, de you know, tricked to think that slavery only dealt with white people beating black people. The Romans, Nobody, bro. Right, they never talked about black people owning slaves or nothing like that, or the black people up north never even heard of slaves. So not everybody was in slaves. So anyway, that caught their attention and I got invited there. And dude, I'm telling you, I tell people this all the time when I go and speak. If you thought that Donald Trump was like, harsh and kind of blunt and when he was like out in front of the cameras mm. dude behind closed door donald trump is straight gangster i'm telling you <laughs> I see that bro dude i'm talking about we when they told us we couldn't bring our cameras in there and bring our phones or nothing in there secret service took the stuff away at first i was thinking like wow you know other people got to take pictures you know we got to take pictures eventually but other people got to talk and record while donald trump was talking but he wanted to make it personal so mm. about 30 of us were in there and nobody can have no camera. Donald Trump sat down and was just like, look here. These mother effers in y'all neighborhoods is straight effing y'all over. I was like, hold on. Like, wait, what? <laughs> like, hold on. Like, wait, time, time out. Be, 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 be. Yeah. And he was like, no, don't, don't call me Mr. President right now. And here you call me Don. I'm well, like, okay. So dude flat out told us, and I kid you not, guys, not Donald Trump flat out told us. He said, if I don't make another term, he said, right now, all of you good black people that are in here that are about this. America's nation. He said, you guys are going to have immunity like you've never seen before. He said, you would be able to go out and commit crimes and not get charged for it. You're going to be able to go out and commit so much atrocities, break-ins, whatever like that. And they're going to let you right back out of jail. He said, but I would hope that during this time that you who are going to stand up for America, the black people like you guys are, he said, I will hope that you would go out and spread this message among other black Americans. He said, because right now they're not going to want to, they're not going to want to hear it from anybody that's white. The black community is not, even if it's the truth, the black mm. community is not going to want to hear it from anyone that's white. He says, so I hope you guys take this message back to your community and show them the way and let them know that America is about building up. There is no oppression. Of, I already knew that anyway. But mm. just the fact that he spoke so bluntly to us like that, it kind of felt like, OK, dude, this is legit right here, man. It wasn't the typical, oh, I'm Donald, you know, I'm Donald Trump. Listen to me talk. <laughs> da, 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 da. It was, you know what I'm saying? He was just straight. Yeah. He was straight real with it. And then sure enough, here we are right now. Let's be real. Black folks out doing all kinds of stuff and not getting charged for it. Mm. Even, dude up in Chicago right now, you could commit a crime and they got a thing in place that the police cannot pursue you if you run. Why? Yeah, the Democratic run city that people keep on voting for and keep putting the same folks in there. Yeah, you can commit a crime in Chicago. If you take off running, police cannot chase you now. And they have a no bail, no cash bail. If you come from a family, most people, which they know this, if you come from a, if you come from a family, most likely a single parent home, you commit a crime. You don't have money to get out. They bail you out. You get out. Oh, wow. You go even more in debt from, yeah. from, oh my God. Yeah, it's, it's wicked, man. So that's the type of stuff that we're up against right now. But at the same time, like I said, I tell people right now, I, I don't know who this is for. I don't know how we even got here. But for the ones that are listening on your channel right now, I will be super duper ooper. And I tell white people this all the time, pissed off. If you go around walking like you on eggshells and feel like you can't speak up because you feel like somebody's going to call you a racist, do mm -hmm. not let people trick you into that. Because if you do, you've been deceived into white guilt. And that's the biggest trick they playing on white people right now. Mm. 
Mm. Don't fall for that stuff, man. Don't 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 have don't justify yourself to anybody. If you're not racist, you're just not racist. You don't have to say I'm not racist. I got a lot of black friends. Don't no. Don't give them that. Plain, I'm yeah. not racist. Period. Leave it at that. You don't have to explain yourself because that's exactly what this this rhetoric is doing. They want you to feel that way, like you can't say nothing, like you can't look a certain way. If I say something, they're gonna think I'm. Do not fall for that. Stand on your square, flat out. Just be like, I'm not racist. So this conversation is over. Don't make no excuses for these folks, Bro, knowing that you're not. Where's the next time you're speaking somewhere? Uh, let me see. I I only have my schedule down here, but it's definitely up in the Illinois Chicago region. I bet. But yeah, um, uh, let me see. And I I put in the private chat, man, to give you my um. To give you my email and all yeah, please. All right, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and peace out. I gotta go take care of my kids. But all right, sweetie, it was nice I talking really, to you. I really appreciate you guys having me on the uh live with you guys and keep doing what you're doing. And Ryan, we love you. Me and my mom are obsessed. <laughs> I fucking love y'all too, girl. <laughs> okay, later. <laughs> See you, sweetie. <laughs> Bye, thanks. All right, cool. Well, hopefully uh, people got that link. I don't know if they did or not. I posted it up there a few times, whatever like that. But again, my uh, I know you're getting ready to get out of here. My uh, my channel is called Modern Renaissance Man. And um, I do a number of things on that channel. And um, like I said, most people going to look and say this is a guy known for being uh, killing up CRT at the school board meeting. And I'm so-called Candace Owens brother, too. That was a thing going around because I went on her show. And Larry Elder's uh, nephew, bro. dude, that Candace is a beast. She's you know, so sweet, bro. She's tall in real life. Oh yeah, yeah. Candace, Candace is a beast, man. It was good being on. I love being on her show, and plan on going back there again. So, but yeah, all, in Nashville. Yep, I was there in Nashville. I loved it, dude. I absolutely loved it. I got a lot of family in Nashville too, though. Oh, badass. Yeah, Memphis and Hennon and Halls and Ripley. <laughs> all dude, through well, hey, next time you come down here, bro. Uh, shit, I was gonna say, do, uh. Bro, if you can get my number from uh, from uh, from her, from Owens, she has yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. What about Brandon Tatum? I wonder if he do too. I don't know if you know who that is. I I don't know who that is. If you saw him, you probably be like, oh, I know who he is. Brandon Tatum, known as the. Used Where you go? So, but oh, um, what'd you say? But yeah. I said, there's uh, Candace Owens and Brandon Tatum are the ones that started Blexit. You know, mm. they always, you know, so, and we've all been a part of that now. But again, if not, um, I think, um, I mean, that's up to you because, like I said, being a medical professional, I got a lot of people phone numbers. I mean, these pictures you see back here are people who I spoke with. So you got Ted Cruz in there. You got, you know, the used to be the press secretary, White House, uh, Kaylee mm -hmm. McEnany, David Harris Jr. You know, so I'm saying that because I have all their numbers and I respect people's privacy and all that. So, um, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll put my email in the private chat right here. Okay. And if you wanted to shoot me your number and all that, I'll just send a text saying, this is me, blah, 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 blah. Yada, yada, peanut butter. So. Gotcha. I'm going to copy and paste it on my uh, notes, and I'm going to hit you up. And if uh, if uh, if Kansas blah, 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 if Candace still has my number, be like, hey, church said, uh, let me get his number. And if... Uh, which I doubt she'll question it, but if she does, just say church said Vanderbilt, right? And better yet, then I can if for confirmation too. All I gotta do is kind of dub this video right here and let her see the part in there where we actually are discussing it. So that'll work yeah. that way too. All right, brother. We well, all take it easy, man. And hey, I'm gonna hit you up on uh, the DM on Instagram. Oh, absolutely. God bless, sir. All right, you too, Bubba. Be careful. Likewise.